hello everyone welcome to the course on universal human values so we are discussing about module 3 the harmony in family and society and today we'll discuss about uh, the other feelings in the previous class we discussed about uh, uh, trust and few feelings so today we'll discuss the few more about few more feelings as we are discussing harmony in the family so these are the feelings that we are about to discuss so we'll continue with affection affection is the feeling of uh, being related to the other so when i can see that the other has a natural acceptance to make me happy and prosperous regardless of my competence so i am assured of the other with this feeling of assurance so when i am able to rightly evaluate or uh, evaluate our competence like with respect okay assurance is trust on intention i am able to define my complementarity with the other so i am able to accept the other as my relative affection is the feeling of acceptance for the other as one's relative parents generally have a feeling of affection for the children the parents are very naturally able to relate to their children feel concerned for them similarly children feel related to their parents so this feeling can also be seen between friends siblings between teacher and student between husband and wife and any other relationship it is a naturally acceptable feeling and hence desired in every relationship the feeling of affection is essential for the fulfillment of any relationship particularly for children so it is a necessity for their development the child feels secure in the early stages of development when it enjoys the affection of its parents the parents though having a hectic schedule they take care of the child and feel happy and fulfilling in the process and they are fulfilled in the process but one important thing to note is that the feeling of affection can be there in continuity only if it is based on the feelings of trust and respect if the first two feelings are not present in the self then the feeling of affection cannot be not continuous so the lack of affection is seen in the form of opposition or jealousy such things too are observed in relationships if the feeling of affection is missing or lacking then we feel opposed to the other and tend to have a feeling of jealousy and this can be seen even in every young siblings for example if a brother is not able to accept his younger sister then he would not have a feeling of affection for her and he may keep uh, irritating uh, their parents uh, and he keep uh, insisting or he wants the full attention of his parents towards him so the very feeling of trust is missing there if trust is missing obviously the respect is violated so like this the boy is jealous of his sister and considers her to be his competitor the understanding of trust the feeling of trust as well as the feeling of respect based on understanding of respect are essential to have the feeling of affection if we assume these feelings rather than understand them then these feelings keep getting violated sometime or the other and the relation keep relationship keeps shaking so the feeling of affection comes naturally out of the feeling of trust and respect so it is followed by the responsibility and commitment for mutual fulfillment can you see that so the acceptance of the relationship and the feelings in the relationship are based on understanding so they are not based on expectations from the other so parents with right understanding will have the feeling of affection for the child in continuity similarly affection between any two human beings may be between a husband and wife between a father and son mother and daughter brother and sister a teacher and student right so it will be continuous and unconditional it will not be affected by the lack of competence of the other only if it is based on the right understanding so in general there is always the expectation that the other would reciprocate the feelings now you can see that the other would be able to do that only if they have the feeling uh, in them not otherwise and they would have the feeling within only if they have the right understanding and not otherwise so as we go on you will see that we are uh, 
primarily talking about naturally acceptable feelings for us and rarely talking about the feelings that are not naturally acceptable so when you look at these negative emotions they are the absence of these right feelings opposition and jealousy are indicators of the absence of affection so when we understand naturally acceptable feelings we have the right feelings within so the negative emotions naturally subside so the feeling of acceptance of the other as one as a relative is called affection with the feeling of affection one naturally takes the responsibility for mutual development both at the level of self as well as at the level of body and coming to the care and guidance uh, we can see that when we have a feeling of affection then the responsibility and commitment comes naturally this starts reflecting in terms of the feeling of care and guidance they are the natural outcomes of the feeling of affection it can be seen in terms of uh, feeling of responsibility towards the body of my relative and feeling of responsibility towards the self of my relative if i have this feeling of responsibility what will i do i would think in terms of nurturing the body and protecting the body we discussed what nurturing and protection of body is so let us continue with the example of the uh, parents uh, having the feeling of affection for the child and therefore so responsibility of taking care of the child both in terms of body as well as the self to care for the child they nurture and protect the body of the child so this can be seen in most parents mothers are willing to do even if it may cause inconvenience to them they are seen uh, skipping their own food for feeding the child on time or change their complete routine of the day for the sake of the child so when the child is small it may it many a times wets the bed or even wets the clothes of the parents however parents take such things as a part of their responsibility to continue taking care without getting irritated or angry they nurture the child regardless of whether the child is able to reciprocate or not so this is to say uh, their feeling and fulfillment is in some sense unconditional so this is something which is quite common mothers particularly can be seen taking care of the child in terms of nurturing its body protecting its and so on care is not only expressed to the child it is also important for elderly infirm and sick family members who need assistance to take care of their bodies who need help to eat who need help to keep their body clean and so on in general the feeling of care plays an important role in human relationship today because the body is considered to be most important when guests come to your house the food and drinks is of great significance they remember what was served the last time they came to your place even more than what was discussed i can see that in order to fulfill the feeling of care commitment towards the body physical facility is required food water and other physiochemical things are required for nurturing the body similarly clothes and shelter are required for the protection of the body it may be useful to recall that for the fulfillment of the other feelings physical facility has no significant role at most it plays a symbolic role the feeling of care also makes a difference during the production protection and right utilization of physical facility these actions are done with happiness as a part of our uh, responsibility so when we have the feeling of care otherwise they are treated as uh, drudgery when the mother is cooking food with the feeling of care the work is joyous so when a hotel employee is cooking the food perhaps with the focus of the paycheck the work may not be joyous can you see that care is the feeling of responsibility and commitment for nurturing and protection of the body of my relative now looking at the feeling of guidance so it has to do with the responsibility towards the self of someone we have accepted as a relative what can be the responsibility towards the self naturally to help ensure right understanding and right feeling in the self of the other once we can see that the other also is coexistence of self and body we become responsible towards the self too this is also something that we naturally accept are you able to see that guidance is the feeling of responsibility and commitment for ensuring the right understanding and right feeling in the self of my relative 
so if we do try to guide the children to the best of our ability we can observe how parents guide the child to walk to speak to take care of the body to do household chores etc similarly as a child grows the domain of guidance also widens sending the child for education providing advices for betterment of the life counseling for a successful life etc can be seen in most homes parents and other family members pass on what they know or assume to the children if they have the understanding of harmony and they are living in harmony they are able to provide guidance to the children in the true sense through it the children also understand harmony and live in harmony on the other hand if the parents themselves are not very clear about harmony about the coexistence of self and body about right understanding and right feeling about difference between physical facility and happiness etc then in place of providing guidance the parents preconditioning gets passed on to the children through that the children may develop a mix of right and wrong preconditionings so guidance is the need of every human being not just the children in the family now if you see this difference between the feeling of care and feeling of guidance we can look back and ask ourselves that when we are taking care of the child are we taking care of both self and the body care as well as guidance or we are largely focusing on the body alone you will see that our focus is mostly on care we are focused largely on care because we have come to assume an assumption that human being is body we are not even aware of the self if we are not aware that we have to take care of the self as well like one common example we can see all around is that a person feeding a child many times we tend to overfeed the child or even force feed it does this make the self of the child happy or unhappy it is easy to see that in such a process the self is becoming unhappy the child may cry complain and do so many things but we have devised so many ways of feeding the child we may even frighten the child or give creative incentives to it we may keep saying if you don't eat a crow if you don't eat a crow will eat up your food or a policeman will take you away or after you eat you will get a chocolate and so many other things so in uh, Uh, like a mother uh, if she says that she bought a plastic lizard uh, uh, to scare a child so when the child is given food she tells uh, that the lizard will bite you if you don't finish your food while doing all that so are we creating a conducive condition for the self or violating the self we are focusing on the body at the cost of the self if we are overfeeding the child we are not even taking care of the body there can be harmonious ways to feed the child if we can see that the child too has a natural acceptance to nurture its body we can have a conversation if we can see that the self of the child is just like ourselves we will be able to see it wants to be treated at par with us it wants to have proposals in place of prescriptions and given all that it wants to decide on its own Every human child has a natural acceptance to understand what is right and do what is right. It can understand. It is ready to take help to understand and it makes effort for it on its own. A parent or a teacher can help to fulfill that need with the feelings of trust, respect, affection, care and guidance for the child. Coming to the reverence reverence is uh, the feeling of acceptance for excellence what we are proposing is that excellence is to be in a state of continuous happiness and this calls for understanding harmony and living in harmony at all levels of our being once we achieve excellence it continues excellence is something definite something absolute if someone has achieved this state of excellence we naturally have an acceptance for such a person this feeling of acceptance for excellence is called reverence 
so we we all aspire for continuous happiness in that sense we all aspire for excellence since the revered person has achieved excellence we would naturally like to take inspiration from such a person and make efforts to become like her or him and we're not talking about uh, imitating someone's appearance mannerisms achievements and such we are pointing to their realization of harmony within and harmony with the world outside our effort for excellence is called worship we keep using this word quite often but the sense of worship is essentially to make effort for excellence there may be a confusion between uh, the feeling of reverence and the feeling of respect we say how can we respect someone when um, we have many reasons we will not have a feeling of reverence for someone who has not achieved excellence we will rightly evaluate everyone so that we can determine our complementarity with every person we can also try to see the basic difference between excellence and competition if you have achieved excellence what would you like to do for the other to differentiate and dominate over them or to make effort to help them to come to your level a little exploration will show that you naturally like to help the other in a state of continuous happiness there is nothing more that you need to do for yourself therefore you would naturally make effort for helping others to achieve excellence on the other hand in competition we not only do not help rather we hinder the other to reach to our level remember we asked you to explore how many children can come first in the class and how many children can understand all that is being taught in the class you can see that every child has the desire for and potential for excellence if you are making effort for excellence or helping others to achieve excellence it's a joyous effort for all concerned when you are competing for that first position in class or to be someone special it is an unhappy effort for all concerned so you can find out if this definition of excellence and reverence is naturally acceptable to you or not also find out if worship means making effort for excellence by taking inspiration from the revered person or it means just handing over your responsibility to the revered right excellence competition this is what we discussed the other is like me we are complementary if the other is not like me then it's a, it becomes a comp- competition deprivation it leads to deprivation right yeah coming to the glory and gratitude so with this clarity about excellence now we'll define the feelings of glory as well as feeling of gratitude uh, because in the light of understanding excellence it's possible for us to understand both the feelings glory is the feeling of acceptance for those who have made effort for excellence so we have a feeling of glory for people who have made effort or are making effort for excellence so for all these people whom we call great people we accept them as a uh, great people because they invested themselves to achieve excellence so when we can ac- accept the effort made by them to whatever extent they are able to achieve it we naturally have a feeling of uh, glory for them we want to have this feeling for our family elders and teachers too so we have a natural acceptation expectation from them that they would make sincere efforts for right understanding and right living gratitude is the feeling of acceptance for those who have made the effort for my excellence so it's the feeling for all those who have helped me in any way in my own effort to achieve excellence in our life so there may be so many people who have been um, of help to us in the process of understanding harmony and living in harmony so we have this feeling of gratitude for them particularly in the family we can see such people we can see that uh, the parents and the others have affectionately brought us up provided us with necessary physical facility to nurture and protect our body you may be remembering your parents and elders they have cared for you and arranged to send you to school and college provided the necessary physical facility and helped you to utilize it in your effort for excellence so we can also see the what the other has done in terms of fulfilling the need of the self so to help us in developing right understanding and right feeling uh, for that our feeling of gratitude continues for a very long time 
and you must be remembering the guidance received from your mother father and some of your teachers there may be so many people outside the family too who are involved in the process of your development you may have a feeling of gratitude for them too so if you think in terms of continuity of the feeling of gratitude it has to do uh, more with the efforts made by the other for your understanding and feeling when you look at the continuity it's only possible at the level of self what the other can do for the self is to help in facilitating the development of right understanding and right feeling so this has the continuity and if the possibility of continuity of the feeling of gratitude is there for effort made at the level of the self so on the other hand what is being done at the level of body in terms of physical facility may not have continuity because there will be feeling of gratitude for this too but it may not have the continuity so if we are only participating at the level of physical facility then the other will have this feeling only for a limited time the continuity of gratitude for the physical facility or on the basis of what has been done at the level of body is possible only when one has developed right understanding so gratitude is a significant feeling in the development of relationship when the child can see that the parents and the other relatives in the family are taking care of his health they are taking care of his happiness they are helping him in the process of education so with all that he has this feeling of gratitude it extends to people outside the family like the immediate neighbors community around society the nation and ultimately the uh, whole world family because when we try to understand explore and find out the people who are involved in the process of helping us in achieving excellence in the self or taking care of our body we find that a whole lot of people are involved the whole system is involved so this feeling of gratitude is significant in the development of a human being so having a relook at this uh, respect reverence gratitude and glory so the basic human aspirations to have uh, continuous happiness and to achieve excellence so if I, one has achieved the excellence it means that he has got some understanding that harmony about harmony and living in harmony uh, even at all four uh, all four levels and uh, he'll be able to lead happy life in continuous happiness with all the respect reverence glory and gratitude so respect is for all with the right evaluation reverence for those who have achieved excellence glory for those who have made effort for excellence gratitude is for those who have made effort for my excellence right so we should not com- get confused between glory and gratitude glory is for those who have made effort for excellence anybody had made uh, the efforts to reach some excellence so gratitude is a gratitude towards people who have made effort to make me uh, to make my self betterment so having this feeling uh, all these feelings now let us see love as a complete value so we have talked about all the first five eight first eight uh, values now we'll talk about a value that encompasses all and can be termed as a complete value verify on the basis of your natural acceptance if you want to be related to none to one to many or to everyone what is naturally acceptable to you we can see that it's not acceptable naturally to be related to none right we also see that it is naturally acceptable to be related to one to many and ultimately to all so feeling of being related to one or many uh, this is what we are calling affection but if you look at the full possibility of the feeling of being related to everyone that is called love love is the feeling of being related to everyone to all it starts from affection which we have already explored if this feeling expands and includes all it is the feeling of love we begin with the feeling of affection and we complete it with the feeling of love that is why it is called complete value love is the feeling of being related to all ultimately all of us wants to reach here it starts with the feeling of being related to the other human being it starts with accepting the other human being with his complete possibility 
and present competence it slowly expands to the feeling of being related to all human beings and then to all each and every unit in nature human being as well as all other units in nature so this is how it progresses so that's the meaning of love the feeling of being related to all human beings as well as all other units in nature the feeling of love is expressed in the form of kindness beneficence uh, and compassion kindness is to provide a resource that the other needs but for which he does not have the competence the other could be in need of some physical facility or fulfillment in relationship or right understanding and beneficence uh, is to provide something that the other requires but has not felt the need for it he may require requ- right, right understanding but may not have felt the need for it with the base of the feeling of love and out of the feeling of beneficence one may help him to develop right understanding compassion means one is willing to extend help to the other unconditionally whether uh, whether the other has felt the need or not has the resources or not without any conditions put on her or him one is willing to help the other and do whatever is required so this the this is the feeling of love for all but it is expressed for those who come in contact so that is interesting when you talk about the feeling of love it's not just within the family within the friend circle it's for all those with whom you are in immediate contact as well as those with whom you are not in contact so that feeling is there but the expression of the feeling will take place as in when you come in contact with the other person and one more thing is uh, i want to specify is distinguishing between uh, love and infatuation so when we are talking about the feeling of love of course this is not something which is based on sensation if you're talking about some feeling on the basis of sensation this is the case of infatuation sensual pleasure that is valuable for you but it is the central issue for you infatuation is conditional it may last only as long as you are able to get the sensation but it's very temporary it does not last for long once the effect wears off then the long term issues of feelings become prominent so there is a story of a teacher who went to visit um, an asylum escorted by a doctor the teacher was taken to the first room there was a boy shouting and tearing his hair apart teacher asked naively what happened to the boy doctor told him that he had fallen in love with the girl and wanted to marry her but was unable to so this broke his heart completely and that made him land up in the asylum teacher felt very sorry for him then he was taken to the next room there was another young man shouting and tearing his hair apart well he got married to that girl the doctor replied so if the basis for a relationship is now how one looks beauty and sensation and the feelings of relationship from self to self is missing sooner or later this is where we may end up not always in an asylum of course but the house may become like one so we must understand we must distinguish between uh, the love and the infatuation so having all these right feelings uh, within myself or from the other or towards the other should be there the right feelings so the justice is recognition and fulfillment and evaluation of human to human relationship that leads to mutual happiness with all these right feelings so from family it may lead to the world family which is a undivided society so with this we'll complete finish this uh, all the feelings thank you